Hey, what's up guys? This is Mikey or Sake. Um, this is the final video update before um, the drop tomorrow and the final instructions or tips slash setting up uh, basically like an all-in-one video that like if you haven't watched or read anything yet, you should definitely watch. And if you are using the bot at all tomorrow, you should definitely watch the whole thing of this um, unless you're really up to date. Um, so to start off with, let's first open up the bot. Um, one of the first ex one of the first things you have to do um, if you don't have the most updated bot is to go to go to the sidebar on the right side here. Click on it. Go to more tools. And then go to extensions. Alternatively, you could go to this link, and it's also in the doc um, that I'll link in the description below. Um, and it's also in my uh, Discord. Um, under announcements and so just if you need any help go to the doc and it'll clarify anything for you um, so yeah if you go to this uh, if you go to it you could see that it's um, 0 0.2 0 0.0.2.0 um, that's the latest version and the last update unless there are any bugs tonight um, I'll reply to that in a second um, yeah the last update tonight before the drop tomorrow, or last update before the drop tomorrow, unless there are any like major bugs uh, for like autofill or like adding to cart or anything. So when you get here, for most people, this when you go to this extensions page, developer mode won't be enabled. So um, you want to make sure you enable or click on developer mode. Once you do that, um, there should be a button showing update extensions now. So you want to press that update extensions now. And um, if you're not on 0.0.2.0, um, when you hit this, it should update. And uh, you want to check that to make sure it updates. If it doesn't update for whatever reason, please contact me and let me know. Uh, but it should update. Um, yeah, so once you get here, you want to go to the options and set up the bot. Um, from You could go to the options either by clicking on the emblem or the little Chrome extension button on your toolbar, which should be there or you go to options here in the Chrome extensions link. Um, I'll just click from here. Um, yeah, so when you come here, um, there has been a new update, which is the new bot settings. I'm the display sold out text, enable box mode and hide sold out items mode. Um, they all kind of help with figuring out what's available or not, or like clicking on the correct item. Mostly display, display I would recommend doing disable Display sold out text, and if you like seeing boxes around the items, which you'll see in a sec, I'll show you guys, um, do enable box mode. There really should be no need for hide sold out items mode. Um, on the drop anyway, nothing's going to be sold out. So you just want to make sure you hit the right items. And so these two, display sold out text and hide sold out items mode, aren't really necessary, but are nice if you like copy multiple items or like you come later or something like that. Um, important thing um, for credit card settings, right now it's disabled to put in your... Um, credit card number, you will have to go to like, put in your um, like credit card number, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Copy that beforehand, put it in, put it somewhere in your notepad or whatever, copy it beforehand, have it in your clipboard before the launch. And so, yeah, everything else should fill, but you need to have your credit card number stored via copy paste. Um, if you don't, it won't fill for you and you have to type it in manually and you probably won't cop. Uh, this is for security reasons. The way Chrome stores settings right now by default is insecure. And so when you store credit card info like via Chrome extension, it's actually storing it in the Chrome like browser itself in a local storage that any other um, Chrome extension can also access if they know the correct variable names and shit. Uh, so right now I'm figuring out a way to make it uh, secure. I might put a pin authentication, encryption, decryption kind of thing, like filler does, but uh, word of note, if you use like autofill, that's the Chrome extension to save your settings, like credit card info, it actually is insecure. They're not encrypting it anyway. It's it's up for grabs. And if they know how the extension is storing the info, which you could easily see by going to like, um, you could, I forget exactly right now, but you could ex you could basically see what the files are. All Chrome extensions are completely open, and so like you could see what the code is and shit. Like you could look at it, copy it, whatever. So yeah, once you come here, it might be um, 
which I'm gonna call it. Nothing might be filled out. If nothing's filled out, hit example settings. And when you click that, just click save just in case. It should save automatically otherwise anyway. Um, if you're UK, make sure to put in UK or whatever country. If you're Canada, another important note, um, which is here. Um, if you're Canada, choose Canada as a country, but you're going to have to fill out the country and the state province on drop. Uh, again, the way um, the stuff works right now, um, Supreme requires a click um, event, which I can't do easily with um, my bot or with just JavaScript in general. And so when I put in, if I manually put in, if I put in Canada with autofill, it won't, it'll just display the state set, the regular state settings uh, for, you know, for the United States. It'll display states for the US. It won't display the provinces for the uh, Canada settings and it'll actually get like really messed up and you have to refresh the page and um, it actually, it won't work if you uh, autofill Canada like that. So Canada people have to fill in Canada. Um, state doesn't matter. Um, but on drop, you'll have to put in both Canada and also the state or the province. Uh, US people, just put USA and your state. UK people or EU, put in UK and it'll ignore state. Don't worry about state at all. Uh, if it doesn't, if anything, any of these settings don't affect you, like there's not auto checkout enabled, but you have a uh, like value inside there, like 3000, it won't look at it. Don't worry. Um, anything that's not being used won't be, won't be used at all including credit card settings type. Uh, America doesn't have this, only EU and UK. So if you just put Visa or whatever, it should be fine for US. So save settings. Now let's go to SupremeNewYork.com. Don't wanna make this too long. Um, so yeah, when you come here, the number one most important thing when using this bot is refreshing. So when you go to all, it refresh and refresh the page. Um, Right now I have hide sold out items mode. Let's just take that off so it shows everything. Oops. So whatever you do, refresh the page. So if you go to um like for example spreemnerd.com and you navigate through shop and then you go to view all, uh, this stuff won't update. This is because when you navigate through or like click another item or click on the page or click back, um, it's not actually refreshing the page. Um, right now, I need the page to refresh when you're on any of the, these categories. So if you're on shop-all, new, sweaters, accessories, whatever, whatever page you're, go, where you're, you're on, on drop, make sure to refresh the page. And it shouldn't matter anyway because you should be on these pages beforehand, but don't hit the all button like constantly uh, like some people do um, for like for, to refresh it. Like for... for Accepting for like showing up the new drops clicking all will work and it's basically the same as refreshing, but it won't work for my uh, It won't Let my extension work correctly. So make sure you click refresh and don't click these like don't refresh by clicking the buttons here uh, make sure to manually like command R control R whatever or refresh on all or new and so on drop day you want to make sure you're on new because um, new has a smaller selection of items as you can see on all there's a little bit more and you have to scroll still even though it's showing like as wide as possible or well, if it's any wider it's just not ideal um, so yeah you want to you want to be on the new page um, if you're US I'm gonna show the EU drop item locations and so you can see exactly where each item is um, on the new page and so you could just go to it really fast like last secure drop uh, everything was on the same location uh, as EU. So I could see where the screen skateboard uh, was located on EU and just showed it to other people using the, using my bot. And so they could just refresh the page and bam, it's there. And they, and your mouse is already there because you know where exactly like what box it is. Like it's like one, two, three, four, five, six by like 10 or something. So it's like 10 by six on the 10 by six box. And so, yeah, right now, let's just go through the bot. It's on tagless T's. Um, someone told me that there might be a bug with it, but hopefully there's not. So it's tagless tees, so it, it should add to cart any of the items of tagless tees, and it'll add small since, um, the size is any. Size just gets the first size available. Um, and it shouldn't matter black, white, or the camo because it's color any, and it's just looking for tag tagless tees. If you're on drop, if you're good with your, um, good with your hands and good with your, like, clicking, like, Good hand-eye coordination, click use any. 
and uh, it will add to cart whatever item you click on. The sole purpose of the product name right now is just to make sure you don't click on the wrong item and add it to cart and just check out. Um, or go to checkout. Um, color is also important, I guess. Or no, the size is important. Uh, that's maybe the most important or only important field. If you want to get medium, just put make sure to put medium, even with any. So when you go to whatever item you cop, it'll add to cart the medium item. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Make sure to save. Make sure it's also USA since I'm in the US. So refresh one more time. Adding the tagless T's. Since it's black, it'll add. It doesn't matter. And it'll fill out everything except the CC number, which I'm going to pop paste in. And process payment, like manually. You could also do auto checkout, and um, it'll automatically click it for you within three seconds or whatever time you specify. This is in milliseconds after, you, after it fills out all the information. So after it fills out all the information, which is like usually like one second, there's a small like delay to look up and like fill everything out. But after that, after three seconds, it'll auto check out. So let me cancel this. View edit cart remove. Let me just show you that it works with any color right now, like I'm showing, like I'm saying. Refresh. I'm on the new category. I'm on the category page. So I refresh. Uh, let's go with white this time, and it adds cart small white. Um, I cancel. If you view edit cart, it's small, like I said. Let's just make sure the size works. Um, let's just do camo to show it works with this too. Um, cancel. And the size is medium. And there, yeah, for this color, there's any size available as well, or all sizes available. So let's just do any really quick. Um, let's just do size any, just to make it easier. Uh, I don't even know what's available, actually, to be honest. So these are all unavailable. Uh, let's just do this stupid ashtray thing. Uh, that is not, oh, so this doesn't have a size. Oh, I gotta fix that actually. So if it doesn't have a size, actually, oh, I should fix that. Uh, let's just go to socks. Oh, that's not a size either. Uh, wait, is any setting working? Oh, wait, wait, I forgot to refresh again. So, yeah, so refresh, pants, and lots of cart. Cancel. Let me just see if that works with, uh, should work with this, actually. Okay, so it doesn't work with no sizes. Um, I'll actually update that. Just, that's a small bug. Um, I haven't tried that yet. I didn't realize that there's some items with no selection whatsoever. Uh, even the skateboards have a selection, even though it's one, and you just click add to cart. Um, so I'll fix that. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's my bot basically. Um, it should autofill correctly. Just make sure you have the manual CC uh, copy pasted beforehand. Uh, that's to help to pre prevent autofill pre uh, detection. And otherwise, yeah, thank you very much. Um, check out the doc if you need any other instructions. Um, and also play around with the settings and play around with the just play around with everything. Uh, put in your real info except like maybe your CC info. It's not going to fill out anyway. Um, but put your correct country info and stuff like that, put all your address stuff, and make sure you could actually, like, it goes through the process correctly with the bot. Uh, thanks. Goodbye.